Wiring, motors, power supplies, and circuits, oh my. These multicolored parts are the centerpiece for the Michigan RepRap group meeting. Using a free RepRap design available on the internet, group members are putting all of these components together to make a 3D printer. Tim, Johnny, and Devin are three members of the Michigan RepRap group. Talk to them if you're having any trouble with your RepRap machine, because they are all too familiar with the frustrations and challenges of putting one together. They are meeting today to help each other out with their RepRap machines. My name's Devin McPherson, and um, I got involved with the RepRap Michigan group because I desperately needed help getting this thing to run, and I wasn't having too much luck doing it by myself. Ah, that's the sweet sound of success. After some tinkering, Devin's rep wrap is up and running. But getting Devin's machine to work was no easy task. He turned to other members of the Michigan group to get his rep wrap operational. Tim carefully soldered a piece of circuitry, while Johnny removed some LEDs from an Xbox controller to use for the rep wrap. It's all about teamwork and collaboration. But why do these guys spend countless hours working on their 3D printers? Uh, RepRap was the, is the next big thing. And to be able to be there at the very beginning, at the next big thing, it's just, it's, it's fun. The best part is that the Michigan group can actually print RepRap components for one another using their own machines. How many times do you do something at home on your desktop computer and you wanted to print it out? And what you're doing is desktop publishing. And that has become the standard. Everybody does it everywhere now. Now imagine instead, when you get home and you see the cool thing that's on the internet there that somebody designed, you say, I could really use that. Now you have your desktop printer or a rep wrap machine or something like it, and you've gone from desktop publishing to desktop manufacturing. You know, the whole goal is to be able to make something that is going to be usable by just about anybody who really has some ideas and things they want to make. You know, uh, your artist doesn't want to know how the equipment does what it does, every single bit of it. The artist has an idea and they want to be able to make their idea into a reality. And this is supposed to be able to help do that. 